Hi, I'm Mark. I'm Rox. We're Lad Baby. And this is our podcast, Live, Laugh, Love, the podcast. Yes. Here we go. Get your dancing shoes on, people. Hey, everyone. Feel the moment. Moment. Woo! Till it's over. Over. You never know when it is over. Over. Get the words wrong I'm still. Just, <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm waiting it out. Oh, it's that time. I'm feeling the living, the laughing, the loving. <laughs> I'm feeling the vibe. Summer vibes. Here I, we I, go. Was gonna, I was going to press Summer the button. I'm feeling it. Are you okay? and natural ends. Over to you, John. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, you lovely lot. Thank you for joining us once again on the Live, Laugh, Love podcast. Oi, oi. If you haven't given this podcast a review yet, please go and do it. Also, just give it give it some happiness, some joy. Share the lols, as Share I like to say. Share the lols. Share the lols. I'm still in 2020. Go, do you know what I mean? Go and give it a little <laughs> review. I'm actually going to do it right while I'm right here because <laughs> I saw a review this week. And there's a couple of reviews that I feel like I need to talk about. <laughs> but um, The best ones. There's, there's two in particular. Before we even get into the show or the fact we've got an enormous sign behind us. Oh, we've upgraded, my friend. Hold on. Before we even get to all of that, I need to uh, talk about one thing. Sorry, I should have had this prepared, but oh, I completely forgot. He's not prepared. Um, okay, so let, let me... This is the review that we, we've had in. So what? this is entitled Pleasantly Surprised. You said you were going to be reading out some reviews. I did, and here we are. Pleasantly Surprised. Oh, is that a nice thing to say? Mark. I always thought you was a bit of a knob, but I loved rocks. <laughs> this is a review. They've given five star. Mark, They've started on a high. I always thought you was a bit of a knob, but I loved rocks. I listened to season one and now obviously on season two. You guys are great and you really cheer up a grumpy HGV night driver. Honestly love it. Uh, honestly love it. Mark, I don't think you're a knob anymore. <laughs> He's ended on a positive. Mark, so that's really, that's really good. You turned someone's opinion I'm, of you around. I'm conflicted over that review. It's a backhanded slap, that Because one. they've called me a knob. <laughs> that's how they've opened it. They're they saying what they're saying, They didn't saying, open it by love. going, great podcast. They've opened it by going, Mark, I always thought it was a bit of a knob. Um, so thank you for your five-star review. Didn't, I think it's brilliant, I'll um, be honest. And the truth truth hurts. There's then another, <laughs> another review I'd just like to read out. Um, love the podcast. Only listen for rocks because... Oh. No, only listen to rocks because she's beautiful, talented and always right. <laughs> Mark is so annoying. From Roxanne. You're leaving reviews trolling me <laughs> on our own podcast. Because <laughs> I see you on the game. Oh, I've got a review. Oh, he's called me a knob. Oh, oh, oh. So I thought I'll leave you on there. <laughs> I can review my own podcast, and if I'm honest, I'll ship my own self in a good light. So I'd like to say thank you for the people that have reviewed this podcast and given it a five-star review, even if you are calling me a knob. Thank you very, very much. As a positive turnaround, I think. You should take that as a, as a compliment. We're going to be reading out more reviews uh, every week, so please keep them at five-star Level, talking, okay? Talking of Mark's moaning, should we actually, should we talk about this beautiful sign? If you are watching us, guys, on YouTube, oh, M on we have had this enormous sign done, the, the Live, Laugh, Love logo for the room, right? So <laughs> it's kind of got a little bit out of hand. <laughs> it's got massively out of hand. I We was contacted by HW Signs. They're like the number one podcast sign maker. maker. In the UK, they do well, all these. Neon signs. They do all these neon signs for loads of things, but specifically podcasts as well, and they are incredible. Yeah. Um. And she asked me what size sign I wanted. I said bigger the better. Rock said make it Go bigger in. the better. You right? know me. I like it. We've got it a big bit. room to fill. We've got to sort it out. It's got to sit behind us. Make it big. I thought fill the space. It's I, enormous. I don't know dimensions, and I'll be honest. This is my sort of dimension. It took two of us to carry it up the stairs. <laughs> it's now propped up by a stepladder and some boxes from the garage. 
it weighs a ton. I didn't actually think about how it was going to be hung there. But it looks incredible. So if you are only listening, go and look on YouTube just to see the sign. We'll put some photos of it on socials as well. It's amazing. If you need a sign, HW signs are... She does all stuff for like weddings and birthdays and everything. So get in there. Because Thank I... you. Yeah. Honestly, you, you helped out with this sign. It looks incredible. It's just enormous. I'll link it on my Instagram for everyone. Um, we've, got all, <laughs> uh, we've got all your favourite features coming up today, guys. Dala Dilemma, Date Night Diaries, Confessions of a Lifetime, <laughs> Living with a Southerner, and of course, Would You Rather. Would you rather? Would you rather? Would you rather? I really, 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 really want to discuss something this week because I spotted something that's Ooh. happening very regularly in my life about you. About me? Yeah. Okay. I've got a, a a you to talk about you, okay? Ooh. I'm excited because I am such a joy. As anyone that might have, you know, known me, the joy know me from social media, you've ever met me in real life. I mean, the word that people use is joy. They, they say I'm a joy to be with. I mean, that be man's around. review said something different. Sod that man on it. <laughs> His little review marks a knob. Yeah. Thanks for doing that, Dad. I appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. It wasn't me. Was dad. it really your no! dad? No. Of course, my dad wouldn't say that to you. To... He's not computer literate it enough just to says write that a review. Your back to me. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> no. One thing I've noticed this week, Mark, through all your moaning and life, um, is. <laughs> I've noticed you are never comfortable. And I wanted to just talk this with you because I don't know if anyone else's partner or whatever has okay. it. Never You're com never comfortable in like posh scenarios. <laughs> and there's been a couple of things okay. where I'm like, it's the circumstance. He's having a bad day. But what I realised very quickly this week is actually Mark doesn't enjoy being in a posh environment. Do you? And we had a bit of a talk about this, and now I feel right. like we need to discuss this because I, I feel like am I am I losing my brain on it? I would like to address this. Let's okay. do it. I'd Let's like to, do I'd it like here in a this. controlled environment. There, <laughs> Listen in, everyone. There is on occasion. <laughs> me and Roxanne have attended uh, a, a luxury moment. Yeah. Okay. We've yeah. gone somewhere that's a bit posh. We go everywhere. We don't we? We go just everyday places. We go, we do have they're, a posh, bit of a posh lifestyle. They're, f they're few and far between these posh moments, yeah. but we do on occasion go to posh places. And Rox loves getting dressed up, right? I love a posh environment. She loves getting her new little dress on, doing yeah. her makeup, doing her hair. Little day out, in. like, oh, you what's, know. What's the food going to be like? I can't wait to try new things, meet new people. Drink new drinks. Like, you know, meet people that are, like, really intelligent or uh, uh, from different walks of life. Like, yeah. But then also I equally love a good old, like, yeah, right, 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 right. But Rox loves, you love a luxury day I out. I love an experience. You That's love an experience, like. right? An experience. And I... Don't necessarily feel as comfortable in those scenarios. You don't take to them. Now, what I would say is, I accept that you like a luxury environment. Mm. You don't accept that I don't like a luxury environment. I just can't understand why you wouldn't love tasting food that's different or drinks that are different or, you know, even hanging out with people who have uh, just have nothing. We have nothing in common, obviously, but. But Hence it's, why I'm out it's of place. learning. It's all a learning experience, right? <laughs> you rather... I'm just not interested. <laughs> Honestly, if somebody said to me, we've got an opportunity, we're going to pay for you to go to Buckingham Palace, go and have a cup of tea at Buckingham Palace. Oh, um, wow. Or we'll pay for you to go to the local Weatherspoons, cup of tea down Spoons, I'll take Spoons. I feel more comfortable in spoons. Stop! This is at the point. I probably do walk in the palace. Disrespecting spoons, right? Because I love their little plates and I love their tea. unlimited tea. Unlimited yeah. tea, right? right? I love that. Yeah. But but I I don't understand why you just when I'm when uncomfortable. We go to these places, you're like, oh, I just don't I don't want the tea in. It's not got even a bag. Like, right. like yes. I can genuinely get angry that I do get angry. Yes, because tea. you go in there and you act all posh. Oh, hello. No, I don't. I do you my start, phone. You, start, you do your phone voice. You start whispering. Oh, hello, oh, it's hello. Roxanne. How are you today? It's, it's, <laughs> you, even, you don't even say Roxanne. You go... I like to level up no, every now and again. You go, hi, oh, it's Miss Hoyle. <laughs> you no, don't, I don't. You don't even say Roxanne. Hello, it's Miss Hoyle. Like, you're trying to be all posh. Miss Money Penny for the day, aren't I? Yeah, and I rock <laughs> and I'm like, all right, mate, it's Mark. <laughs> uh -huh. 
they got an unlimited machine for seeds. You order a... Right, we went to... Where was it? We went to a posh hotel in London. Garages. I don't know. It was one of the ones that you made me go I in I made for him a... go because I'd never been. I wanted to We went and had like it. a cup of tea in somewhere, right? Brock's went, oh, I want the coffee. This... Flat white. I had... I will put this down on paper now. Here one of go. the best flat white coffees of my life. What an experience. I'll yeah, put it you... down. One of the worst cups of tea I've ever had in my life. But... They you... brought over your coffee, little cup... Man, man walks it over and a little tea. Oh, hello, miss, and puts it down, and you're like, oh, hello. wonderful right. man. He had a little serviette. Yeah, he you're... had a he had a warm pot. It was silver. I was like, he's got a silver pot. He bought me over a teapot, right? I, I I went to pour it out. A load of leaves came out of the teapot. It was a strainer. It's how I, you do get... I know it's a strainer. Why do you have to strain tea in somewhere posh? They don't put a tea bag in the teapot. They put the tea leaves in like a little net, like a little metal net, right? That's, and, that's what tea is. And you have to I wait. Like. you got to wait a minute. Like, you got, you've got, you're halfway down your coffee. I'm still waiting for the tea leaves to swirl around this metal net. I've then got to, like, pick it up. I've then got to put it in this metal pot. Oh, poor you. They're then going, what milk do you want? I'm like, green top. And they're like, what? what sorry, sorry, sir. I'm like, green top. Oh, green, what's that? Semi-skimmed, I don't know. You know like oat milk or... Almond milk or soy milk. I'm like, no, just bring me a... You may have well just said to him, mate, bring me a PG tips bag or a Yorkshire Gold with, with a polystyrene cup and you would have been happier, wouldn't you? I don't you know. You would have been happier. Why is it when it's a posher environment, I'm having to work harder to have a cup of tea? <laughs> I'm like... having to do their job. Just serve me, give me a tea bag. <laughs> do the, Brew the tea. And bring it to me brewed. And the side don't pe- let me brew it. Yeah, Why am I doing their job? You free side petty foie cake on oh, the side, God, do he's, you? He's no, but he's like a mouthful. And then you're like, mm, that was nice. And I'm like, it was the size of a 2p coin. It's you have a to little, come out. It's a sweet, oh. it's cake o'clock. It's not like a full, you know, slice of cake, is it? Exactly. How terrible. <laughs> I want a slice of cake that's a quarter of a cake. Yeah, but they bring one out with every tea or no, coffee. No, they don't. No, they, they don't. No. And they're all horrible flavours. They've all got elderflower in and crap like that. <laughs> I don't even know. What, what's an elderflower? <laughs> what is it? Anyone know? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> I don't know what an elderflower is. Do you remember... I, I, I genuinely now find I now get amused. Rocks, here, let me, amused let me, let me, by let me this. put this. Let me put this to you, right? Go on. Imagine there was a football away day. Right? Imagine we're going Wembley, right? Right. Imagine, ugh, imagine a forest are going to Wembley, right? Yeah. Nottingham Forest, big football game. We're going to Wembley. Tickets are booked, and 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 the night before they say, right, you can either go down on right. the coach, right, with all the football fans, which leave, I've done a lot. Leave Nottingham. Two hour drive to London on the coach, sneaking some beers on the on the coach. Not allowed beers on the coach in case you get stopped and you know it's illegal, but you know, someone someone's always sneaking someone is always sneaking beers onto the coach. Right. Right. Lovely. You're all singing. Right. right. Yeah. Lads, lads, lads. Good day out. At Moss Fear. That's no, route no, one. No, no, no. Hold on. Let's let's put this into thing. Right. We're on a coach that rickets like this. Everyone's feeling sick. Everyone's having a beer. They're stopping every 10 minutes because Keith is having a wee in a bush. Don't leave. The yeah. coach, man, the toilet stinks of poo before you've even left. <laughs> and no one can go it because it's overflown. I've got John next to me farting and eating bacon fries. I've got Mark like, <laughs> okay. yeah, but, yeah, but. no, 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 no. Yeah, it's all part of the day. It's an atmosphere. It's a vibe. You have to stop. It's a vibe. Wait, there is no... Come on, tell me there's nothing funnier when the coach stops on a hard shoulder and Keith's out there having a little wee and everyone's going, get your... For the lads. No, I don't want to see Keith Schlong before I even get to Wembley. I want... Leave Keith Schlong out of it. Why don't you want... He's got a lovely Schlong. What's the scenario, though? So that's that's route one. Route one is (laughs) that, right? Perfect day. Route two, same price. Helicopter yeah. lands yeah. outside your house. Lovely. Takes you straight there, 30 minutes. Oh. And then you get there and you're straight into hospitality. Yep. Little little day. Which one do you want? Sorry, no brainer. <laughs> I am the coach. walking from my house into a helicopter. No problem. I'm still smelling the same. I'm still looking the same when I arrive. My I love makeup's still part on. Of it. Yeah, because the coach in like just makes me smell of Keith's poo, right? <laughs> I'm getting on the helicopter. 
the the man who's driving it's wonderful. He's not Why he's not stopping wonderful? in the air for a wee out the window, is he? Right? There's a little champagne. Don't get me wrong. When I you know a little champagne bubble in there. I'm looking at the wonderful cows in the field. I'm get, I can see <laughs> Wembley from above. Boring. As I land, Boring. No security are coming here. Hello, Miss Hoyle. Oh, hello. Lovely to meet you. No one's got wee hands and trying to kiss me. I'm walking into hospitality. I know there's a free course dinner. I know there's champagne. And there's no, a lovely little brochure no. that I can see who's playing. No, that, you, you can't have a three-course meal and don't get me on wrong, a football day. I love... That's not you. Whoa. When we went, where was it? Man City. We were in a hospitality there. Yes. Fantastic. No. I right. had the best katsu chicken lamb leg or whatever it was I've ever had. You shouldn't be sitting down with a knife and fork before a football game. Oh. oh it's against the rules. No, but it's not. You Look, listen, I love an atmosphere. I love a party. I'm on the tables in hospitality, right? But what you, you're like, uh, everyone's a bit. Posh. No everyone's one's, a bit posh, everyone's yeah. Everyone's up their own ass. I get it. I get it. Yeah. They are, right? But yeah. don't care. I don't care. I'm still having a good time. But I'm in a controlled, happy environment where I don't smell. <laughs> hello, 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 Mr. Hall. Can I have a moment, you're, please? You, you're like, oh, I want to go and sit in A block over there. I want to go and sit. I want to yeah. be over there. I want to be naked with no t shirt on, singing, be, get. Yeah, get, I want to be in the crowd. Like when we, we went to West Ham. Lovely experience in hospitality. Great. Thank you for the invite. Everyone's in there. No one even claps. Or Rocks told me off for clapping too loud. You clap loud. I clapped the gap. The players are coming out. <laughs> you it. I want to clap. That's the loudest clap, though. You do it so annoying. Rocks is telling me to quiet down my clap because we're in hospitality. No. And then they're, no. everyone... No, make the outs be boring. Everyone's I'm going, there. we're forever blowing bubbles, pretty <laughs> bubbles in the air. Do you know what? He's living because he's, going... he's had to wear a trouser and a shoe. Oh he's my got God. his bunk I'm... shoes on. <laughs> we'll get into what you've got to wear in a minute. I'm, I want to sing Shove Your Bubbles Up Your Backside. <laughs> which you can't. Which I'm not allowed to sing. It was a padded seat. Though. That's another thing. Why can't I rock into a hospitality environment in what I want? Why have I got to go, all these luxury places we go? No, I get You're that. You're like, can't get dressed up. What are you going to wear? What are you going to wear? Well, I get dressed up. You don't. You don't have to. Sod right off. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed in looking. I'm not allowed in. Slumming it with your, your short weekenders and your <laughs> and your forest shirt right. that says, you know. <laughs> Legend on the back, yeah. Legend <laughs> one. Right? <laughs> I don't like dressing up for like these events. I know you don't. I feel uncomfortable. I'm having to wear like, every time we go somewhere, Rox tries to get me to wear, wear a pair of chinos. So you, no, I don't. You're always like... You have fancy chinos? <laughs> chinos in a polo shirt. Do you know how many times Rox has tried to get me in chinos in a polo shirt? I'm just living my life, man. I, I feel like you're holding me back. <laughs> I'll tell you the worst one, right? I'll tell you the worst one. I'm going to tell you this, right? What? The worst one, my birthday. <laughs> oh, don't start. I'm going to I'm gonna start. Gonna start. I'm going to start. It was my birthday week, oh, here we go. right? No. Here we go. No, you've you've drilled it into me. It's after not all these... my fault. Someone Oi. arranged a party. Oi, you've drilled it into me all these years. <laughs> it's a, a birthday is to be celebrated. Make a moment of it. Yeah, yeah. Do something you love. We did. Do something I love, <laughs> not you love. Right. We was going to London on the week of my birthday. We had a few meetings there. We had to meet people about the podcast and about our books. Like a busy day in London. Yeah. Rocks told the people that we was going to be meeting. That it was my birthday week. Yeah, right? I just said, oh, by the way, it's Mark's birthday. We'll probably. No, you did a little plan. You did a little plan. You ran in. Should we take him somewhere I nice? I didn't choose the location. Should we take him somewhere nice for his birthday? Let's take him somewhere nice, right? So, <laughs> I don't want to go somewhere nice for my birthday. No. I want to go somewhere. Who says that? Who says that? Mate, take me to a, I don't know, just somewhere average, like TGIs. Take me to like a TGIs or, <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's like people love a TGIs, don't they? Right? Take, like, got my word. <laughs> Rocks arranged this place in London. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I couldn't tell you where it is now, right? You go in, they ask for your coat before your name. Do you want me to take your coat, sir? I'm like, no. What? What's wrong with that? That's <laughs> lovely. Your coat's going to be hung up. Mate, you don't give your coat anyone from where I'm from. They go through your pockets, mate. All right? <laughs> Amount of things I've lost in Rock City giving over my coat. Don't give over your coat. They've also got a sticky floor, love. Not, any, not anymore. It's been done up. 
Right. So you don't, I'm like, no, right, I'll keep me coat, thanks. They then go in, right? We have this, it's breakfast, it's brunch, wasn't it? It's brunch. It was, it was like, yeah, it was brunch. It was brunch. They're arranged for us to have brunch, right? I sit down and go, yeah, so there's the menu. Everyone's looking at the menu, all like poshly, like looking, mm, this is a nice menu. Like, no fry up. Instantly he hates No it. fry up on a brunch menu. Granola. Whoa. More granola than I can <coughs> shake a stick at. Granola with this, granola with coconut, granola. There'll be an elderflower granola vibe. Always, there's always a, like... <laughs> elderflower granola. <laughs> guacamole on every... Guacamole on toast. Avocado. Is it... That, well, same thing, isn't it? Avocado <laughs> on toast. Avocado. No, beans on toast. Didn't have beans on toast. <laughs> They'll have avocado on toast. They won't have beans on toast. You just look at me and go, Rox, what will What's I like? Ordering? What will I like? <laughs> yeah. They don't even get the bread right. It was sourdough. Mate, give me a Hovis, two slice. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> two slices of Hovis, slightly overdone, with a little square of butter in the little silver thing that's a bit too hard and you've got to soften it yourself. Perfect, mate. Perfect. Um, so it comes to me ordering. Rox has ordered like, Yes, have the, the yogurt with the granola, please. And a flat, <laughs> Don't a flat slag light. off my granola. Yeah, Rox is ordering the little... granola and a smoothie. What's wrong with it? Oh, God, the smoothie. Rox has ordered a green smoothie that smelled like an allotment, right? <laughs> she's ordered that. That's just making me vomit because I can smell it, right? So she's then ordered the granola. It I'm comes getting... to me. I'm trying to make a fry up from a posh menu. So I'm like, yeah, I'll have the... Um, can I have the poached egg on toast, please? <laughs> but I'll change the poach to fried, please, if that's all right. And they go, mm, okay, sir, okay. Like, yeah, is that all right? Fried. And they're like, they're like, how would you like your egg? I'm like, fried. They're like, sunny side up? I'm like, just just fried and just just a fried egg, please. Two sides of the toast. I'm like, can I get some a side? And they're like, yeah, what side do you like? I'm like, like a side of beans, two sausage, three bacon, hash brown. No, we don't do hash brown. Don't do hash brown! Shut your face. Don't do shut... Don't do hash brown. Call this a brunch. Honestly, just my head in. And no, I've, I forgot the point of what I was even making and why I was angry. Right? We are... I'm sorry, Greg. The beautifulest birthday cake. They had arranged for this be birthday cake. Beautiful. Right? And I'll admit the birthday cake was beautiful, right? They, they hadn't bought it from this place. They'd gone to like a bakery. It was like a red velvet. Beautiful cake, right? Absolutely lovely. They'd bought it especially from this bakery to this place was having lunch. Someone brought it over. Happy birthday. Hate that. Happy birthday. Everyone's looking. Why do you hate well, that? I just don't have strangers looking at you. I just don't like it. <laughs> Happy birthday. I'm like, oh, God. <sighs> Candles go out. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Random people clapping. Thanks. Right. Would you like us to cut the cake? They, they said. Like the, the, yeah. the, the waiter. We'll cut the cake and put it in for everyone to slice. They're like, would, nice. Would, oh, would, thank you. Would you like us to cut the cake? Even I was a bit like And I was like... I was like, yeah, of course. They were like, okay, fine. They went away. They cut the cake for, there was like 10 of us. We all had this cake. Fine. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> the bill comes. I don't even know how I'm going to get across the gravity of my anger at this. Okay. I think we can tell. They charged to cut the cake. Everyone listening or watching this, I'm going, to, I'm going to give you a little moment. Have a little think. How much do you think they charge to cut the cake? <laughs> Just in your head, get a little number. If you had a birthday cake, if you had a birthday you're at a cake, table. and you, you're you're in a restaurant, and they go, "Would you like us to cut the cake?" A, are you expecting them to charge you to cut a cake? <laughs> and B, if they did want to charge you, how much would you think that would be? <laughs> right, have you all got a number in your head? Five pound a slice. <laughs> I mugged you right A off. slice! A slice! That's the price of a cake, cutting it, isn't it? A slice! <laughs> Even I was living. There was ten of us. <laughs> it's cost 50 quid to cut a cake. It's cost 50 quid. I've never bought a cake for 50 quid. <laughs> cutting <laughs> it costs more than what I would pay on buying a cake. You don't, you buy you buy, I buy a Colin. A I love a Colin. Colin the Caterpillar. <laughs> Nothing wrong That's with M&S. Lovely. That's pushing a boat out. It's probably 15 quid, isn't it, Colin? I don't know. But 
It cost more to cut it than I would have paid for a cake. I Honestly. ate that slice like it was going out of fashion. <laughs> I ate yours as well. I was like, I'm going to eat this and they cut it. For a fiver, I want to keep the cutlery. I'm like, I want to keep the plate it's frigging served on. Honestly. I mean, that was the most ridiculously posh thing I've ever experienced in that in that. I'm sense. not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. <laughs> Bring me the knife. I'll cut it myself. <laughs> Bring me the knife. And this is why everyone says we're chalk and cheese, because as much as we love each other, we just love different things. But we blend it together. You know, I take you to these experiences. And, and I take you, you to football you, games, yeah. You take me to ones that open my eyes up to real life. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a balance, but... I don't mind that you like a luxury environment. No, you do, because when I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this, you're like, oh, it's too posh, I'm going to go in that bit. Like, yeah, you're, but that annoys you. you. you that you're... annoys you that I don't, like, <laughs> revel in it. Do you know what I mean? I'm there like, we. I'm not revelling. It's just what You are, I, you're tottering like... around. No, I'm not <laughs> revelling. I'm... I'm 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 feeling deserving of what I, I where where I want to be. That's just where I want to be, my friend. I don't. If you, <laughs> I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there ever. Or let me go there, just as me. We we could what? go to these things and do that. Then I'll go into where I want to go, and you you go and hang out where you want to go. Lovely. Yeah. If you could arrange places that are opposite, like pubs, that would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go and have a luxury experience right? and I'll just be across the road having some dry roasted peanuts and a lukewarm Foster's. That'll be lovely. <laughs> All right? Getting left alone, reading a paper. You won't be left alone. You're not left alone in those things anyway. You don't realise you're not left alone. It just annoys me. Even in football crowds, people are like, hey! Like, you're not, you don't, you, you're, you're not. I just don't like a posh environment, all right? Just winds me up. Admit you like some of them. Come on. Is there Which any one? you've liked? Which one? Name some. The football ones. Surely. No, I'm not allowed to... St- I get told... You tell me off too much for clapping. You're like, mm, padded seats are nice. I don't even want to Festivals. Be, I don't want to be sitting down. Festivals. I hate festivals. You know I hate festivals. No. Music gigs. What about what? Well, uh, like... Sometimes you you know you go go getting in your little box or you get to meet the music people. Like sometimes those experiences are incredible. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. Award shows like You're award shows. No, I like an award show. An award show. I like an award show. Right. Doesn't even have to be something that we're nominated for. Doesn't even have to be something I'm interested in. I'd go and see like you know a golf award show. Got no interest in golf. <laughs> But I'd love to see people get an award. I like seeing people like win things and clap. Like, with me clap. loud clap. Let, with me loud clap. Get up, have a little emotional moment and then winning something, you know. Like that. You could put on a suit. I don't mind a suit. It's not the suit I, I don't mind. You don't like your boat shoes, do you? We have to not wear a trainer. Oh, that upsets you. Yeah, it does upset Honestly, me. I see, this is what I just wanted to chat through this because I feel like it's a bit of, you I'm know. angry though after this chat. <laughs> I'm angry because I just oh, hate those just environments. Just open. You just got to open your brain a bit. I'm yeah. open to yours. I mean, I've 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 done this for what? How many years we've been together? It annoys me though. That Fourteen give... years I've been in. It annoys me this... that given the choice, you would take the helicopter over a coach. Oh, every time, and I'll do it again, my friends. <laughs> helicopter life, chopper life, private jet life. I'm in. Like I know it's not who I'm meant to do or be, but I, I like to. Eat. I've never been on one. I've what, never been a on private a... jet? Yeah. Mate, I would sit and eat a... F- I would sit and eat a McDonald's. My little dream, right? Sit, take my own McDonald's, quarter pound of a cheese meal and a milkshake onto a private jet. Uh, uh, you know what? I, I, I'll I give you that. I'd and like, I don't I'd think like I'd to... like a private jet because I reckon it would make me feel sick because it's small, isn't it? And it's I like... reckon a private jet was where we could compromise because I don't like the, the leg room on a normal plane. So I and reckon, the kids, I think, would be happy. And, the, I reckon, and yeah, and there's always someone moaning about the kids and they've got their iPads too high and, oh, they're playing a game and someone's lost their Lego. And, and, your and that's annoying. our kids. <laughs> I, I, like, everyone gets annoyed at our kids yeah. because they take after rocks. So no, my I, kids are good on play. A People private jet mean. would be lovely. I'd take a private uh, Deal. Private jet. Oh, come I, on. I reckon I'd like a private jet. Stop. If you own a private jet and you would like the Live, Laugh, try it for Live, Laugh, Love episode from Private Jet... Please do get in touch. Ladbabypodcast at gmail.com. I would love that. Right. 
let's go straight into the next one because I feel like dilemma needs to come. Do you have a dilemma? Do you need some help in life? Dial! A dilemma. Hey, oh, got him. Right, here we go. The dilemma this week. Hi, Mark and Rox. Hello. I love your podcast and just want to say thank you for all that you do. You never fail to put a smile on my face. Well, that's oh. very kind. I have a bit of a dilemma with a friend and I'd like to hear your advice. Ooh. For a little bit of context, I met this girl at the start of high school. Okay. And while she took a liking towards me, I was Hello. a little terrified of Ooh. her. That was like when I met rocks. Oh, stop. A little and terrified of her. As she was brutally honest, yeah. opinionated, yeah. and slightly aggressive. Oh, my God. This, at times. Have I read it? In? Have I read it? I'm not aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Rox. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Sorry. She ended up weaving her way into my friends group. Yeah. Ooh, which many of my friends didn't like. Okay. I'm definitely a people pleaser and could never say no to her okay. when she asked if she could hang out with me. So there's a, she's knocking about and you're 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 allowing it. You made a friend and now she wants to be friends with your. She's friends. in the friendship group in July. She's a bit annoying. Okay. Fast forward a couple of years and she's still hanging around me. This has gone on a few years, right? What do you okay. Mean hanging around you. She claims that I am her only friend. Oh. Which I feel puts a bit of pressure on me. <laughs> Hello, baby reindeer. <laughs> this is baby reindeer, right? But the girl version. Since going to different colleges, I thought I'd be able to cut her out my life and her constant negativity. Oh. However, she's still constantly reaching out and asking me to catch up. So they're at different colleges, but she's still bothering her. In which I struggle to say no. Oh, oh that's, that's your problem. That's your, that's your problem. Go on. During our last hangout, she literally sat in my kitchen and badmouthed my own family. Oh. I have Hot really thickens. had it with her attitude and her harsh and unnecessary opinion. Okay. But as a person that struggles to be honest with others, I don't know how to stop being friends with her. Okay. What should I do? I'd like to keep anonymous, thanks. Okay. So how does she get rid of the friend? that she, She's I, a people pleaser. She doesn't want to... I get that, but you can't use that for life. The boundaries that you are setting yourself right now, you need to stop. Ooh. Nip it in the bud. This is a... Hey, it's beyond nipping the bud time. No, you need to go... No, uh, you need to just stop. Like... <laughs> The, yeah, you know when people please, go, oh, but I, I couldn't say no, I couldn't do this. Right, I used to do that. Oh, I can't say no, I can't do that. No is the new, you know. No is the new, new yes. Yes. <laughs> you have to say no and put boundaries in place. And I don't know whether this has just come with age that I've okay. got. You do have to say no to sort of almost protect your own mental health. Right. And also, it's gone too far. It's gone too far. You need to stop her in, in your life. And just sort of go, I'm sorry, no. I so didn't like she, the way you talked about she's my She's text going, hey, I saw you. You're in I'm really sorry, I'm busy this week. I've not finished a text yet. Oh, you, who's the aggressive? I think you're the aggressive one. Jesus. <laughs> I'm oh, just putting in the I'm putting the text in first. <laughs> I'm going to text you now in a minute. <laughs> Hi, Linda. I'm in town today. Do you want to catch up uh, for a drink? I'm sorry, I'm working. Have a great day. What time do you finish? Oh no! <laughs> um, I've got tennis after. Great. Should we meet after tennis? Not today. I'm tired. Okay. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm on holiday. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, this is hard. Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow? Oh yeah, I'm being harsh. Um, I'm I'm really sorry, Linda. I need some. Time. No, you're Linda. Oh, I'm, I'm... <laughs> you're Linda. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. Right. I'm sorry. I need some time away from you. That really upsets me. You're my only friend. Why would you say that to me? That's I'm really offended by you slagging off my family last week. But what? What do you mean? You never You've said hurt anything. my feelings. Why? I'm. I'm so. Oh, stop. I'm so sorry. Let's meet up and we can talk about it. No more. No re more response. Why aren't you replying to my texts? This is really upsetting me. No response. This is really upsetting me. No response. Linda, I'm going to come around to your house. Block phone. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You can block someone. Block them. Think of her as a cold caller. Hello, would you she's like any insurance? She's not a cold insurance? caller. No, bye. She's not a cold caller. She's in your friendship group. She's been there for years. Well, she's out now. She Why? She's not in the circle You've, of what? trust. The circle of trust, she's out of it. Why? Because she slagged off you, her you've family. You've got to give her a reason. You, you can't don't slag say... off my family. Go away. Shoot. Yeah, but she, that, that was a week ago. Time's moved on now. Why they've, are you sticking up for it? I've spoken since. They've spoken since because that's not she's going to... Okay. 
Hello, I've come around to talk, sort this out. I'm really I'm gonna sorry. I'm going to call the police because your baby reindeer get out of my area. I'm, Linda, I'm really sorry. I, I, I appreciate I overstepped the mark. Can you forgive me? No. This, this is, is where no comes in, all right? No. Why? I don't like how our friendship is progressing. But you're my only friend. Without you, I'm going to be lost. You uh, can make other friends. Well done. I, I, yeah, Maybe get I, some therapy. Can you just explain to me why, why you're being like this? This is so out of character. I find you aggressive and annoying. Since when? Since forever. You said we was best friends. You did. I didn't. You did? <laughs> this is why are you laughing? Even, I genuinely can't cope with this scenario. I'm actually the person that can't. So I'll be like, come in, have a cup of tea. It's fine. I, I would. I'm terrible. I just can't believe you're treating me like Mark, this. Mark, you're too good at being Janet. I can't believe you're treating me like this. Linda, just come in. Can I just come in and we talk about it? Sure, come in. <laughs> you can stay. We'll have a drink. Have some wine. Get a Chinese. <laughs> Rocks as cave. Chinese and a nice bottle of wine will sort it out. Right. So now you're just going to accept the, the aggressive I'm friend. I'm just going to have to take the abuse, aren't I? But <laughs> I'm that, I am that person. I'm that girl who can't say no. I'm terrible. Like, yeah. I find it struggle to, like... I am confrontational, a, a little bit kind of, like, aggressive, but... I do struggle when it's like emotionally manipulating like you just did there. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh God, oh God. Like I, I struggle with that. What would you do? Change my number. <laughs> That's what I said, block her. No. you change she, your number. She still yeah. turn up at your house. I'm not in. Why not? You're door. not in. not in. I'll move. <laughs> you, won't, you can't just move. Just, I'm not in. I'm not in. Not in. But we're friends. I can see you through the window, baby reindeer. Me won't. Curtains are closed. Honestly. I draw the curtains. You wouldn't. I you wouldn't. The... You, you're the one who go, sends me outside to answer the door. I'll tell you what I do. Go on. What's her name? But she didn't give a name. But, uh, but give, give me a name. Oh, Janice. Uh, Janice. Um, I've got some terrible news. <laughs> Um, I, I've, I've never told you this, but I was involved in a serious crime a few years ago. And for my own safety, I'm having to get into witness protection. I'm having to cut ties with everyone I've ever known. Um, I'm going to be changing my number. It will be legally a criminal offence if you try and contact me. <laughs> so you're just up for fully fledged lying, yeah. not even like telling yeah. them. Don't, don't, don't tell her, just lie. <laughs> Witness not, protection. Not setting boundaries and going, no, I'm no, sorry, I don't want you in No, because she'll, That's the she'll win way. you, she'll cry, and she'll go, oh, we're best friends, and why are you doing this to me? We've been friends for years. We've Get got over so, it. So many mutual friends. Nah, I'm going into witness protection, <laughs> and for the next six months, you will not be allowed to contact me. Put a, t put a time and go in six months, if things have calmed down, um, then I'll, I'll reach back out to you. Leave it like that. And if all your other friends... And just like that, and if all Janice your other, has gone. And if all your other friends in the group find her annoying and aggressive as well, you could all be on it. Go, oh, did you hear? You know, she's gone into witness protection. Yeah, well, what, what did you do when she sees you on Instagram, on your holidays, having a great time? Or you, you're, you're... She's in witness no, protection. That she's in witness protection. You can, legally, she's not allowed to contact her. She's in witness protection. That's it. You are... <laughs> I'm sorry, neither of us have got any good advice on that one. That I, is a great advice. It's not good advice. You're in witness protection. Never speak to me again. All because one friend is annoying. I mean, what do you? Uh, uh, I'll so, tell you what else you should do. No, you say you say I've been set her up with someone else. No, I've been I've been targeted for for somebody's trying to kill me. So it's best we don't see each other. Mark's now turned into a drama, a music, a, 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 a film, an yeah. actual movie. Yeah, yeah, Just say someone's trying to kill you, so you're having to limit contact with people so they don't get caught in the... the... She's not like an agent. But like, how does she know? You're... How does she know? No, I make think up, you're... Make up, it's something so elaborate, they'll never, they'll never guess. There you go. That, um, that solves your problem. It doesn't solve anything. You, you are either going into witness protection or you have a hitman <laughs> after you. That's it. That solves it, Rox. You're crying at the Just door, letting her back no. in for a glass of wine. Put your boundary in and walk away. And stop thinking you need to answer people because you don't. That's no, I just why. can't believe you're treating me like this. No, you're out. Is... Why? I've got nowhere else to go. go. I've got to go. I've got a helicopter to catch. <laughs> <laughs> if you 
I've got a dilemma that you would like me and Rox to make worse. Do let us know at ladbabbypodcast at gmail.com. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Date Night Diaries. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, Date Night. This is a moment. Oh, really? Why? This is a moment. I'm excited. I've tried to put myself into this position yeah. on all fours. And, on all what? And figure out what I would do. And I've come to the conclusion I wouldn't get into this situation. Okay? Okay. Okay? You ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love that you think you would get yourself... You got yourselves into some situations. I would not be in this situation. This is your date night diary. Dear Mark and Rox, greetings from Switzerland. Woo! Love the oh, chocolate. I love that. Love the chocolate. We need to go Switzerland. Uh, thank you so much for your podcast. Every week I'm looking forward to those long car rides where I can listen to your hilarious stories, you really bring joy to my life. The following story happened when I was studying at university in Vienna. Ooh. Oh, bougie. Bougie. I love that. Wait till you hear what happens in Vienna. Back then I was single, and I was searching for some comfort in some companionship. Nice. Okay, fine. Good place uh, to do it. Let me tell you about my absolute worst night I've ever had. Oh. So delicate. Only a few of my closest friends know about it. No, they're going to tell millions. <laughs> so, on. I was having a, this thing with a guy. It worked like this. Once every couple of weeks, one of us would call the other for some uh, uh, late at night so they could come round to spend the night together. Friends with benefits. Our relationship wasn't romantic. Right. It was... Very much friends with benefits. Oh, there we go. Right. And we were simply having fun, both exploring new things in the bedroom. Okay, that's great. Like if, that. if you're both into it, no one's getting hurt. Yeah, free spirit. You're both having some fun every few weeks. Go for it. As Rox would say, lovely. Lovely. It's lovely. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> One night, we were having some adult time together mm. when uh, he spotted my vibrator and asked if he could play with it. Right. Okay, so they're in they're in the, the heat of the moment, having some adult time together. I'm picking up a good vibration. <laughs> he's, he's picking up a good vibration. He's seen the vibrator. <laughs> Being in the mood, I agreed. So we went on. After having an amazing time together, Ooh. we was lying next to each other in bed, and we could still feel the vibrator. It was still going off. Right. Right, so they've left it on after they've, you know, finished the action. I jumped up and started looking for it. Where is this going? But it was nowhere to be found. Oh, my. But weirdly, we could still hear it and sort of feel it. No! <gasps> then the horror hit me. The vibrator was coming from inside of me. Oh, my God. I put my hand round to my bum where it was being used. <laughs> so... During the intimacies of some adult time, the vibrator was being used. Okay, yeah, we got that. <clears throat> I went to my bum where it had been used, but I couldn't feel it. I realised the vibrator had now gone up my bum and was somewhere inside me. <laughs> What's this gone mute? But she was buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Thank well you. done. That's very good. <laughs> Sorry. I had to do it. <laughs> Please tell me there was a happy ending at this because I genuinely feel for her. I started freaking out. I ran into the bathroom, sat on the toilet and tried everything to get it out. It would not come. Oh, my goodness. I was in tears and I couldn't face walking into an emergency room with a vibrator up my bum. <laughs> this went on for some time. <laughs> I would come out of the bedroom crying and then go back in, <laughs> trying again to take it out. I sat there and I thought to myself, what? okay, girl, you can do this. <laughs> so, I, so I crawled into the bath on all... Uh, so I crawled into the shower on all fours and pressed as hard as I could 
like I was giving birth. After what felt like a lifetime, something was moving. Thankfully, eventually, it came out. It came straight out and I popped it in the bin. I came out of the bathroom in floods of tears and in a little bit of pain. The guy looked up at me and said, are we ready for round two? <laughs> Classic. Needless to say, I threw him out and I never saw him again. That was the worst night I've ever had. Please keep me anonymous. I can confirm Look it's... how quiet Rox has gone. I can confirm that is like probably the worst night I've ever heard as well and would be a genuine nightmare. <laughs> like a physical nightmare, isn't it? Because you hear, don't you, about people having to go to emergency rooms with uh, I, I foreign just like, objects that are like... like wedged, bo- wet, wedged. like, And not just what that was, like unusual things. What would... Um, how would you approach it in A&E, Rox? If you've, <laughs> you've, you've, you've lost an item, a vibrator... I would just be absolutely... And you've, you've walked in into a busy A&E room... There's people in there, you know, they've got, they've hurt their arm, they've hurt their hand, there's kids running around crying. Well, I wouldn't run in and go, I've got something stuck up my jacks here. I'll, I'll you've got to walk in. Like, Hello. Um, no, you've got to walk up to the counter. <laughs> you've been floods of tears. Tell me like, so I'm, I'm, I'm working behind the counter now. <laughs> Hello, madam. Uh, how can I help you today? Oh, my God. Yeah, because you have to tell reception. You've got to tell reception. I've got a pain in my bum. Okay. Um, <laughs> can you describe the pain for me, please, madam? It's very buzzy. <laughs> can, you, can you describe the pain for me, please, madam? It's a pain in my arse. Okay. Is it specific to one of the, the your cheeks? I can't cheeks? disclose this in a, in a patient waiting area. I'm going to talk to I need the to nurse. put something down to alert the doctors and the triage team so they can assess your situation. Can you, can you describe the pain that you're in? Can you describe the pain you're in, please? This is my worst nightmare. <laughs> you got to describe it's it. It's my worst nightmare. Describe it. I have a lot of pressure in my lower area. Okay. A uh, foreign object. You have a foreign object in, in, my your, lower area. in your anus. <laughs> uh, and can you tell me how that got there? This is why nothing ever happens to me like that. I just <laughs> genuinely will never get myself. Can you tell me how that got there, madam? No! No, I need to put this down on the notes for the doctor. Oh, how how did this item get there? Nosy Karen, now go away. Was this an accident or was it deliberately put there? No, um, I was having the best time of my life and a foreign object has displaced itself. Someone needs to remove it now. How long I need the, to be bumped to the top of the list. How long has the object been there? An hour. <laughs> and does... The is blood's the, now rushing to my head. I'm glad it's rushing there. Um... <laughs> Is this object mechanical? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just Sorry, trying to make I'm, you I'm feel awkward. Ron yeah, is so is awkward, not, I am. I'm not, this is not me. I'm not that person. I just, uh, no, nah, I'm sorry. I know anyone who's had to go through that. I'm sorry for your areas. Thank but... you so much. What would you say? Hold on. What would you say? What would I say? Yeah. I'd just rock in and own it. <laughs> of course you would. I'd just rock in and own it. Hello, of course mate. you would. He won't hang out in a posh area, but he'll walk up to a yeah. to a reception and go, all mate, right. They've seen it all, I've got mate. a Barbie stuck up me. Boom. T- yeah. <laughs> they've seen it all. I just walk in and go, hello, mate. Um, This is awkward, but it needs resolving quickly. <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain. I'd prefer it if not everyone in the room knows about it. I've got something wedged up my backside that needs removing pronto. <laughs> Um, I mean, <laughs> and, the, and they'll go, Would you like to take a seat? I'll be like, I can't. I can't take a seat. I'm going to have to stand. Uh, hurry up. <laughs> like, that's what I'd be like. Just own it, but be really forceful in the speed of what the resolve is going to happen. Okay. And do they just have to go in and get them out? But I would probably make an excuse over how it got there. Or oh, what, like you fell on and tripped and slipped on a... Yeah, I was in, I was having a shower and as I stepped out of the bath, the floor was wet and I slipped. Onto a giant... And my wife's giant <laughs> object was in the bathroom and it's like a freak of nature. It's <laughs> randomly, it's got stuck right up there to the point it's gone all the way in 
And I know, freak accident, <laughs> but start, I need it. I need it sorted. Start gonna, I, I, I need, my face hurts and I need... Okay, so there you go. If you have got a date night story you'd like to share with us oh. where you have got anything stuck in any part of your body <laughs> on a date, do please let us know, Lad Baby Podcast. What's the weirdest thing you've got stuck? Gmail. That was almost like a confession and that was a date. And we've now got confessions to go straight oh, into. That's 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 like a horror movie for me, that. Confessions oh, no. of a lifetime. Ah! Ooh, confession time. <laughs> My favourite time of the show. I mean, I feel like we've had quite a heavy one there. A date night one. This made me laugh so much. Did but it? But also sick in my mouth. <laughs> okay? Brace yourself. Hi, Mark and Rocks. My story is so, so horrible. Oh, no! I feel awful. But 20 years have gone and I am ready to confess. <gasps> Oh! Bed in, everyone! So when I was a teenager, I used to be uh, a good daughter, and so I should, by helping my mum, who had really bad cracked heels. Ooh. Every week, I would soak her feet, grab a foot grater, and scrub away to try and help smooth the cracks. It was truly horrible... It was a truly horrible job, but I love my mum and I wanted to help her out. Oh, well, that's, 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 that is a good mess. daughter, right? The stuff that came off her feet used to get everywhere. And by the end, I just have a layer of like foot crust dust all over me. <gasps> Roxy's grimacing for anyone <clears throat> listening. Yeah. Um, anyway, on my 14th birthday, I was having all my friends over for a sleepover. There was about six or seven of us. And it was good until my mum's partner at the time came back drunk uh, and we got into a really silly argument about nothing. Right. But I was 14 and I was livid. So a couple of days later, when I was back to scrubbing the crust off my mum's feet, I had a light bulb moment. Oh, no. <laughs> After I'd finished, I decided to scrape all the foot scrapings into a bag and hide them in my room. No! No! The following day... I offered to cook everybody a nice dinner. My speciality, spaghetti bolognese. Foot and nose? Yes. <laughs> I cooked my stepdad's dinner with an extra ingredient. No! Whilst everyone else was having parmesan, he was eating my mum's foot scrapings. <laughs> I sat and <laughs> smiled the whole meal, watching him eat every bite. Mate, he ruined her birthday. To this day, I have never told him. Oh. I have, however, told my mum, um, who, after she was initially mortified, all these years on, we still giggle about it from time to time. Is your mum still with him? It doesn't say. <laughs> And my mum still comes over to have my speciality of spaghetti bolognese. Oh, wouldn't go near her bolognese, I'll tell you. Well, even I mean, hopefully this that's hasn't some dark stuff. Hopefully this hasn't put you off spag bowl for life. Oh, you oh. Reds, see you at Forest soon. Ah, oh. son of a Nottingham! <gasps> somebody in Nottingham did this, or somebody that's a Forest fan and goes to Forest games. Oh, that's the that's that's like. Like foot, I've got goosebumps. Foot crust. I've got goosebumps I, I thinking about that. I feel a bit like vomit now. That foot crust is the worst. Oh, it doesn't like, bear they thinking do, like, about. You know when you go for a pedicure or manicure or whatever and they use the thing to take your dead skin off? Honestly. After the winter. Oh. I've walked in when you're having your nails done, right? Just your fingernails. Yeah, and it's dusty, And, and, it? and they're like doing that, and they're using that machine and there's dust everywhere and I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. And that's just a fingernail dust, right? Imagine the heel of a cracked foot. I can't cope. I can't look at bolognese again. I'm trying to think of a name that you could call bolognese that has foot in it. Yeah. Mark, you're good with puns. S spaghetti bolla. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> It's 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 oh that I'm, it's so good, isn't it? But that's close. I'm getting for anyone who needs to get some revenge and you've got some foot crust, give it a go. I mean, it's a, it, the fact that you ate it and didn't notice must mean that it was a nice bolognese. It was it made a, a nice little ingredient. So 
if you want to get revenge on anyone... I bet he thought it was a bit of mozzarella. Do you know what I mean? If you, uh, Parmesan. Cheesy. Parmesan. Cheesy. That was it. Yeah. If anyone else uh, wants any ideas for how to get revenge on someone, I'll be honest, I wasn't thinking of my heel Trust. scrapings no. for revenge. But there you go. You heard it here first on the Lad Baby Live, Laugh, Love and podcast. And you're a Nottingham fan, man. Ooh. Whoa, love that. Oh. Right, next one, let's go. That's been a bit heavy. Living with a... Savannah! Savannah! Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, hey, oh, hey. lovely. Oh, I love a posh place. Love, love a bit of posh place, love a bit of mango <laughs> while I'm in there, lovely, lovely. He's cup of tea, lovely. Um, this is the part of the show, guys, where we get to teach rocks how to talk properly. Oh, um, so I've had some help this week. Oh, who from? Uh, Ashley from Hampshire. Oh, hello, Ashley. Ashley from Hampshire, I would just like to say a special thank oh, you. Oh, no, hold on. Is Shout Ashley out. on your side? Shout out to Ashley. <laughs> uh, thank you, Ashley. So I actually don't, I, I, I don't know if we've covered part of this word before. Um, the word path. Path. Have we discussed this word before? I can't remember if we did this on season one. Mm, not sure. Path. P-A-T-H. Path. 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 If you're American, sidewalk. Um, <laughs> path, right? Yeah. It's, how, how do you say it? Path. No, there's no R in it. P-A-T-H. Path. 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 No. I'll always say path. Where's the R coming from? My own intelligence. Path. Path. I just don't say it like that. Path. path right? Going down the path. Okay. <laughs> Why? Where's this going? Okay, so we've all we've all heard that. That's how Rock says path. Oh, I say path. I'm going to walk down the path. <laughs> yeah. Walking down the path to catch the bus. <laughs> right? That's how Rock says... <laughs> I don't know like that. <laughs> right, that's how Rock says path. Okay? Right. That's right. Yeah. You, you, we're shaking on that. That's how you say... That's how you say it. Yes. Um, how would you say uh, psychopath? Psychopath. Mm. I say it like that. Psychopath. psychopath. Yeah. You don't say psychopath, do you, Roxanne? <laughs> it sounds like a posh psychopath. A psychopath. How do you say it, Rox? I don't say psychopath. You don't say psychopath. <gasps> you say psychopath. Ashley's called me out. Yes. Psychopath. You I say, say psychopath. That. You wouldn't say... He's a psychopath. He's a psychopath. I can't blend two words like path with path. Path. Psychopath. The psychopath. You <laughs> it don't say psychopath, doesn't it? Psychopath. You don't say psychopath, do you? No, I say psychopath. Yeah, you went, oh, he's a psychopath. I'll you wouldn't go, back. he's a psychopath. All right, I'll help my hand out. I'll take that yes! back. Yes! The North has won today. Yes! Oh, damn oh it. my God. You've won. High five. Yes, I've won. Should I go around saying psychopath? You've got I to commit. I feel like, no, that's too posh. You've but... either got to say psychopath or As you've got cockney, to... As a cockney, I can't conform to that Or you've got behavior. to say path, Rox. No, I just can't conform to that. Path? No. Well, you've got path. to start... No, you've got to start saying path if you say... Psychopath, psych... and then I'll have to say path. Yeah. But I don't say, let's walk up that path. You've got to now on. I can't. Or you've got to start saying psychopath. I'll say psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that psychopath. Oh, did you see him on Tell Him What a Psychopath? <laughs> yeah, I'll just do it to annoy you. Psychopath. You'll be like, you're such a posh bird. I I'm going to say psychopath. Psychopath. Yeah. Um, I think I think we can all agree. Roxanne was wrong. Um, Mark is a psychopath. Uh, thank you so much, Ashley. Oh, Ashley. The I, North has won. I hold my hands up. I love you. I'd like to confess my dying love for Ashley this week. Thank you for helping me on my quest to sort rocks You're is talking out. You're a bunch of psychopaths, okay? The perrier. Right, there you go. <laughs> would you rather? Would you rather? Would you rather? Oh, I'd rather. I'll tell you what I'd rather do. I'd rather. <laughs> I have got a great one here. Thank you for everyone sending them in. Keep them coming because they're they actually blow, helping they me. They blow my mind a bit. This one is going to trouble you. If you don't know what this game is, it's would you rather this or that? And you have to you choose. You have to choose one. There's no option out yeah. of it. You they're have to. usually very hard. Um, Roxanne, go on. Would you rather poo yourself oh, on your wedding day or in the most important meeting of your life? What? That's the only options. What? On your wedding day. 
What? Oh. What? Like in my dress? On down, walking down the aisle, you're gonna full on fill your pants. And it's gonna go everywhere. Is in, it in your solid white, or is it's, it? No, it's it's gonna go everywhere. Everyone's what? gonna know. It's gonna cover your dress. Right. On your wedding day, or you're sitting there in the biggest moment, the biggest meeting of your entire life. Is it a life. life changing meeting? Life changing meeting. It's gonna change your life, yep. your career, the lives of your family, your kids. Fine. You have to put yourself at one of them. <laughs> this is brutal. And everyone's going to know. Bo brutal. So on your I... wedding day, all you, as you get to the front to, to, to take my hand. I'm going to be smelling of poop. Everyone's going to see. Oh, oh, everyone's going to go. Oh, oh, you're going to hear gosh, them talking. She's got a brown bum. All your friends, all your family, they're going to be looking at the, your, your backside and they're going to go. She's pooed that. herself. She's pooed herself. She's got brown all over her white dress. Yeah. <gasps> what a drama. You've got to choose one. Your wedding day. And the, the meeting is life-changing, like Look, as in? Life-changing uh, from a personal aspect, from a business aspect, from a financial. It's going to change everything about... It's so I'll better. tell you. Okay, I've come to a conclusion. I would much rather poo myself in the white dress. Oh! And, I, and I'll tell you why. Right, go on. I'm with family and friends. I was going to say the same. They understand that I'm a little bit wayward. They, Do you know what? You're I could with just be excited and poo myself. You're around people that already love you. I'd rip that skirt off, get some new knickers on, throw them about, have a little wash, throw them. sort throw myself them. out. You cannot walk out of a meeting, and I'm assuming I'm in a locked room. It's going to smell of poo. It's intense. No one wants to go into business with someone who poos themselves in, in public on, yeah. on that area, yeah. you know, unless it's a child. Yeah. And if it's going to change my life, that's fine because I can then get married and poo myself and buy I agree. And I agree. Dress. You're surrounded by people that you love. They will accept you. They'll forgive you. They'll clean me up and sort me out. And They'll get, probably get laugh. They'll probably be expecting it from you. Also, <laughs> do you remember the day we got married and you pooed yourself? Yeah. What, becomes a, a, what story. a story. Becomes not, a story. Do you remember when I pooed myself in that meeting and now we're not multi-millionaires? Yeah. Oh, because yeah, I, I could have... Could have could have been flying in your private jet everywhere. Could have been in my McDonald's jet on my helicopter, my chopper. Instead, you... With my psychopath. You, <laughs> you followed through in a meeting, and now you're getting the bus to Wembley. Ain't nobody want to follow through in a meeting. I'm going to just take the wedding. To be honest, I'm probably... You know, we were in Vegas when we got married. I, I don't, you you know, I don't really yourself. remember a lot of it. It was fantastic. <laughs> and maybe probably did wet myself at the end of the night. So, I'll be honest... <laughs> I'm taking the poo in the wedding. There you go. That's, <laughs> that's Roxas' solution. Let us know Would what you... Would you rather do that too? I do the wedding, yeah. yeah 100%. Every time. 100%. It's Life easier. Life changing meeting. And it's also funny. It's for, for, for the eternity, it's funny, the and wedding. you love me forever. So if I've pooed myself in front of you, you've got... You know. Again, yeah. Um... <laughs> Uh, let us know what you would rather do. Ladbrokepodcast at gmail.com. That is it, guys. I've never pooped myself we'll in front of you. We'll get into that next week. We'll get into that. Um, let us oh, know. I remember. Let us know. I mean, that time on holiday, you were <laughs> flapping about. Right. Uh, let us know. <laughs> Ladbrokepodcast at gmail.com. <laughs> See? I'm dead. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about as well. The night before we flew. <laughs> It was. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. It's done. It's done. No more. No more poo bands. <laughs> Goodbye. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Take care. If you would like to hear about Rox's it's poo not story, I have a poo. if you would like to hear about Rox, <laughs> if you would like, like to hear about Rox's, Stop it. Rox's poo story, no, I haven't got. One. Let us know. Ladbrokepodcast at gmail.com. <laughs> it made it worse on the fly. <laughs> She's hiding her face for everyone that's not watching. <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. Love you all. See you next Goodbye. week. Bye. <laughs> no one.